Today we're going to be trying Wayback Burger's new Oktoberfest burger, which just sounds amazing in every way. It's it's a double patty with beer cheese, uh, onion rings, and mustard. German mustard specifically, they say, but I don't know exactly what that means. There you can see the onion ring. I guess you just get... I guess I just got one onion ring. I thought I was supposed to get two, but maybe that's just a picture one. Oh no, there's an onion ring underneath. Wow, okay, so we have onion rings on both sides, two patties, and some cheese sauce, along with mustard, supposedly. We'll see how we taste it. Uh, I'm gonna try to jump right into this one and not waste too much time. It was $8.99 at my Wayback Burgers. The price could vary, of course, but let's see if it's worth it. Ow. Okay, I've eaten about half the burger now, and I forgot one of the most important parts that the sun will do it. It's a pretzel bun. I forgot to mention that, if, in case anybody didn't notice that off the bat. It's a pretzel bun, and that's where I want to start with my review. The pretzel bun is perhaps the best pretzel bun I think I've had in fast food. Now, other places have done pretzel buns many times. Let me try to do that. Other places have done pretzel buns many times, especially like Wendy's. They recently did their pretzel bun burger. I think they still have it. And while it's great, it doesn't really taste super like a pretzel. This, the first bite, it tastes like a fresh salted pretzel. It's got, I think it's got salt crystals or something in it because it has that kind of bite of salt crystal on a pretzel that I really love. Um, so they've nailed that part. And I think I gotta go into Wayback Burgers in general. Sometimes they're not that great. Like I did their Nashville chicken sandwich. It wasn't that good, but I think on their burgers and their hot dogs, they do a good job. They're freshly made. You can see them. I don't know if this is how it is at every way back. I assume it is. You can see them grilling it like right behind you, kind of like Five Guys or In and Out. So they have. You can tell they're using fresh ground beef and they're they're grilling it fresh to order. The cheese sauce is obviously pre-made, but they fried my onion rings to order for the burger. And everything has a nice fresh taste to it. It's all very delicious. Perhaps the only critique I can really give it is that it's a bit too heavy, um, if you get what I'm saying. It's a bit too much. It kind of becomes very one note after a while. Um, and I, I'm only halfway through and it's a little one note. I'm still gonna eat it though. I think it, I think what it's going for, which is Oktoberfest, I think this might be one of the best burgers you could get after drinking when you're drunk and you just want something that's kind of oily and greasy that you're just gonna, you know, wolf down. I think that this is perfect for that. I think they nailed that. The, the combination of just onion rings, beef, and cheese on a thick pretzel bun that is chewy and salty. It all works together. It just becomes a little one note after a while, but I don't want to hold that too much against it. Now, the price of $8.99, it's a bit expensive, but it's not really out of whack for Wayback Burger prices. Most of their burgers are in the $6 to $8 range as they are, and this one does have, I guess you would call premium ingredients in terms of the pretzel bun and the beer cheese. Those are not on their menu normally, so they're making them special for this. So I can't hold it too much against it. But I also don't really feel like I should be giving this a five because I don't extremely love it, but I really do like it. And I think it would be a great like drunk food um, to eat at a night, after a night of drinking. And that's, that's kind of what it's going for. It's Oktoberfest. It fits the theme. It tastes good. It's well executed. It's a little pricey, but not too much. But there's nothing I'm really in love with on this burger, but I think it's a great solid burger and it's definitely worth trying. If, it, if any of this appeals to you, I would definitely go get it, but it might be something you want to like order off DoorDash after you get home from a bar or something. That might be the, the best case scenario. You might you might be giving it a five then. So um, that's Wayback Burgers Oktoberfest Burger. I'm gonna give it a four and I will see you all next time.